finished, although this one was a bit moldy at the bottom, as you can see. So I had to skip out on a bit of that one. I kind of delayed going to the gym because I had so much to do this morning, but I'm gonna go in the next 15 minutes. But I got hungry again, so eating dates. So I am back. I just had a gym sesh. God, my hair's so itchy because I need to wash it. But I just got back from the gym, it was good, and it's now really hot out, so I'm very happy because it was kind of not that warm and now it's warm so i'm gonna drive to return an item i got from the charity shop this jumper it's well nice it's lacoste bought it in london and then i kind of was like oh it's actually a bit itchy and i'm really really fussy with if things are itchy so luckily it's from british red cross so i can return it in my hometown so hopefully they take that back it was 35 pounds as well i don't know what i was thinking when i got that or to be fair it was like a birthday present that's why i was like woo like i don't care because i usually don't buy clothes if they're over like 10 15 pounds like that's outrageous and then also i'm gonna do a grocery shop so let's go all right so i'm back now from the shop and the gym and returning that jumper god there was such i feel like things like that just take up so much of the day and now i'm like what the hell it's so late in the day now and i'm starving it's literally 3 40 now like where did the day go anyway i've got these bananas that are kind of going moldy i don't know what's wrong with these bananas they haven't gone like nice and spotty they're just kind of like really really squishy so i might make a smoothie because i feel like that's what you gotta do with squishy bananas I think it's fine. They're just slightly slimy. I'm just gonna blend these bananas first. So sweet. Can add these next two bananas to it now. This is so good. I'm just gonna drink it out of here. Because use it as a cup. Don't know how many bananas that was. Was it like five? Maybe? Something like that. Oh, it's literally I can't even explain how good this is. It's so sweet. Like it feels like that's just got like loads and loads of table sugar in there, but it's just super 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 ripe bananas like i'm not a fan of the texture of just like eating them but blending up so if you have very squishy bananas literally just blend them i bought these super ripe persimmons from the shop like i don't know if you can see they look like tomatoes these but they're like super squishy which is how you want it look it's so squishy that the label takes off the skin i think you can eat the skin sometimes i eat the skin sometimes i don't mm. firstly there's a seed Usually they don't have seed. Definitely, it's really not that good. To be fair, it's not really persimmon season. We are in spring. It's more of a like autumn, winter fruit. It tastes a bit like clay. It still tastes good as a thing, so I'm gonna eat it. A bit of a letdown though. Persimmon's like one of my favorite fruit. And it's like ripe, it's so good. All right, let's try this one. Oh, it's too claggy. The first one was edible. This one's not. That's so sad. I mean, I had one okay one. But the other one, mm -mm. Oh well, that's the thing with fruit. You win some, you lose some. Right, I'm gonna have some cereal and another banana, I think. So I've got these free from chocolate stars. I bought this new Oatly Light drink. I haven't tried it before. I'm on the low fat grind right now. Yeah, I feel like it tastes the same though. Probably a bit less creamy, but I mean, that would make sense. Still good though. I don't really drink milk by itself that often, so I feel like it's fine with cereal. And I'm chopping up this banana on top of the cereal for some added fruit. Pour this milk on top. I'm on that high carb, low fat grind. This is the bowl of goodness. Yummy. Pretty darn good. Now I'm gonna make my dinner. It's like six o'clock. I'm trying to stay on that early eating grind. So I've got some green pea fusilli. Pasta, but made of peas. And then I've got this tomato and herb lighter sauce. It basically just doesn't have any added oil. So lower in fat. And I'm gonna add some peas to it to keep up with the pea vibe. And I also might add some cannellini beans. Let's get cooking. It's a cooking. The good thing about that kind of pasta, lentil pasta and stuff, is it takes so little time to cook. Like it cooks so quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna drain these now. Yum. Cannellini beans can get it. I'm obsessed. This is the problem with my like cooking. I'll just eat half of it before it's done. I can never open these tins. Heavy duty machinery. Let me try this shit. Mm. I prepped this huge bowl of like leftover salad and I added the rest of my beans to it. 
Right, this bowl is actually huge. I like how it doesn't overfill though. I feel like most of the time I really overfill my bowls, but this kind of has a bit of space. I mean, this is my hand in comparison for size. Pretty bloody big. Pretty bloody big.